well met welcome back to the channel today we're going to be reading through tower of god 500 the big five double oh all right so before we get into anything we've got a link to a discord in the description down below where we all catch up and chat about a bunch of different series games entertainment all that kind of thing if you're interested the link is down below all right quick recap and then straight into it as always so last chapter Bam is uh, a little bit upset still <laughs> from White's taunts about Prince and Arcraptor. Uh, Arya pretty much, you know, keeps him in check, holds him, and they both use the jump pad to go across. <laughs> uh, Karaka and Dawn are still inside the Cat Tower exploring, and they come across not one but two mice. They jump down the middle of the thing, and then the commander, whose name I've forgotten, uh, I think his name is Fusil. He looks, he's got a bunch of spikes on him. Uh, brown armor spikes coming out his name is Leprobia Fusil. Um, he baited them into jumping down the pipe after the mice and then just dropped some acid on him Karaka then let Dawn into his you know his inside world and then just burst out <laughs> and then he summoned his army to counter Fusil, summoning his own army so there's a bunch of drones coming in and now Karaka's got his lads coming in as well out from his his world um so yeah, they're both doing okay. It's a bit of an even fight ad wise, but Karaka has got this, you know, and Dawn, Dawn's, I don't know what she's doing yet. She's starting to like understand a few of the different motivations of different people. Like she's actually talking to them rather than making her decision immediately, which is good. Uh, so yeah, then we see Bam, he lands with Arya. He's lets out a huge scream. It's kind of chilling when you read it. <laughs> But yeah, Arya's got no idea what to do. And then the final panels of the chapter. Bam is bent on killing White right now. He's losing focus of the mission. <laughs> we have to say that first. Gotta save Jin Sung Ha. Still top priority, right? He's still alive right now. White can wait. But yeah, Bam, he just immediately declares White's gone down. So it's going to be a very interesting chapter. Like, I don't think Bam's going to actually go anywhere this chapter. But he's going to have to make up his mind soon. <laughs> There's just not the time to sit around and do both. With that being out of the way, it is time for chapter 500. Quite keen for this one. As long as we stay with Bam, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Warning. <laughs> oh, no. This episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. This is 100% this is a white chapter. <laughs> but he's fighting Bam. Hmm. So that's gonna get destroyed. We start off with a uh, Hutz. Oh, oh, should be soon. Are you okay, Hutz? So, oh, we're back here. Okay. So Hutz recently released his um or ignited his new weapon, and yeah, kind of faint. Looked like he fainted after use. Are you okay? Don't die on me. I'm alive. Although I don't think I can go on fighting. He's he's been knocked for a six. Got that full workout done, Zo. Hearts, just stay there and rest. Ambulance. We need an ambulance. He knows where he is, right? I don't think he can just quit the game like that. Relax. And then he rolls over. Oh, Isu. Yeah. I want to get stronger. You're strong enough. Then I want to get even stronger. And don't tell Kuhn about this. Hutz. Hutz seems like a good guy, right? He deserves some more strength. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not a match right now. By far. And then... Oh, we have... I think her name is Sola. Pink hair. Twin. Still probably doesn't know that her other half is gone. So she's guiding a lot of the beastmen. So they did regain their senses after... Um, what was his name? Oh my goodness, it's been like five chapters. Oh, after the guy who was in the mind controlling chair. <laughs> That's gonna have to do for now. Uh yeah, the that they beat. His name escapes me. All the commanders' names in this series. Holy crap. Alright, anyway, we're just gonna ignore that. Since the guy since the commander has been defeated, the mind control that they were clearly under has faded. 
And I'm kind of surprised, actually. I thought they were still going to be in a rage, like the other beasts are that are outside, uh, fighting on the actual map. Because they're purely driven to beat their opponents, right? So that they can be set free. I'm kind of surprised that these ones aren't the same. Anyway, they're fr they seem free from control. This way, everyone. The enemy could be hiding somewhere, so stick together. Then, oh, it's Kendrick. There we go. We got there. Are you all right? I'm on the Slayer Candidates team. The Slayer Candidate, huh? Are you here to save me? Where are we right now? This is so embarrassing. And then he falls over. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Lord Yama. Is Lord Yama here too? Oh, wait, is this Paul? Oh, wait, no, it's Jordan, isn't it? I can't remember. Oh, no. Another character. Two of them. Well, it's only one. I remember Kendrick. I want to see him. Wait, his eyes are gone. His eyes. Is that to stop him from using his sniper ability? It is Jordan. Yastracha, you cruel bastard. Damn, okay. Lord Yama, please do not let that monster beat you. You have to win. We're going back to Yama now, aren't we? Okay, all we see is a blood spatter on the floor. Is the violence kicking in? Why is the blood spatter bouncing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we're back with Yasracha. You see that purple glow? Wait, is he... No, is he de-transforming? Going back to base, is he? Oh my goodness, wait, Yama. <laughs> wait, so those splats was like Yama moving around? He's on the floor. He's... There's so much blood coming out, that's probably not good. You sure are stubborn. I practically beat you to a pulp. And yet you still won't beg me. So yeah, Yashrach is back in base form now. It's already been a few turns since the battle began. This won't end until you give up. I guess you'll just have to sit here and wait out. Oh, and wait you out. Okay, I mean, he seems content with that. Looks like Yastracha's transformation kills his clothes as well. He's just got like a little robe thing. I guess he already had one before that, but... Even as this battle comes to an end, and your teammates and fellow canines are all approaching their death, you just stay right there and relax. I want you to really feel just how powerless you are. Yastracha is standing in his blood. Then crawl back to where you came from, Yama. Ooh. 52nd Floor, A Dark Change, Part 2. Inside the Cat Tower, Doom. Oh, we haven't seen him yet. He's still zooming around as well. As he seems by himself. Paul collapsed. <laughs> Perhaps because he pushed himself too hard to transform. Ah, my head. Paul. <laughs> okay. I'm the only one of us brothers who can help Yama now. Wait, so did Paul make it into... I can't remember if he made it in. Did he just leave him behind? <laughs> Dangerous. Yama cannot beat Yastracha by himself. Okay, so Doom's flying directly down. Like an eye on the floor. I just hope nothing happens to Yama until I get there. Okay, so he, he'll be on the way. That'll be interesting, actually. Maybe all three of them can transform together. This looks like the green in whatever it is. Is that a, like a giant pot or something? Who knows? Uh, it looks like the acid from before. Anyway, Doom's flying over it. He looks down. And then it is acid. It kind of gets launched swirlingly upwards. It doesn't usually do that. Is that a whirlpool of acid? It looks dangerous. Oh, look. A mouse. Oh, how is it in the acid? They hit a mouse in the acid? What an obvious trap. Considering the balance of the game, I bet that acid could probably harm even a high ranker. I may be in a rush, but I can't jump into such an obvious and dangerous trap. Should I try approach it with external transformation? Can they do that? Just put an external in there and it doesn't affect them? Interesting. Oh, he does it anyway. <laughs> okay. So Doom's external transformation goes into the acid. Is it just being immediately disintegrated? Ooh. Yeah, that is what I thought. 
the acid is so strong, not even a high ranker could make it out of there alive. Okay. When I get near it, it spreads itself out as if it's telling me to back away. Then when I get further away, it gathers together again and covers the mouse. It's almost like a living organism. Oh, oh acid boss. What should I do? And then it's all swirling into one ball right now. Huh? What if I went at it faster than it can gather together? Would I be able to get at the mouse? It's a dangerous risk, but if I approach it as quickly as possible, but we weren't taking risks. Oh, we're going in, boys. And then he's just thinking, Yama, he does need help. All right, and then we see some feathers coming out. I'm going for it. Okay, a little bit of transformation from Doom. And then he dashes forward. Oh my. Well, he's rather quick, I would say. So you just see like that speed coming out of him the acid still like in a sphere right now even if it puts my own life in danger i'd prefer that over yastrach killing yama that point yama is a bratty brother but i refuse to let yastrach do anything to him so what's happening here he's just zooming faster right now it seems the acid just like starts lashing out right now breaking the sphere shape you see a pow and acid splatter everywhere. What's going on? Oh, uh, it looks like we are outside again. There is a purple beam. <laughs> uh oh. Purple beam. It looks like a special beam cannon. You know, the purple beam in the middle and then one surrounding it. Oh, oh wait, he got it and immediately teleported out. Doom's on the playing field. Okay. Okay, this guy is interesting real quick. So he, he's kind of bleeding as well, of course, he just blew in the acid, but he, he's made it. Feathers, Yastracha turns around. Doom's not looking in the greatest uh, position right now. Oh, he notices Doom. <laughs> Yama. And then somewhere in the cat tower, Hockney's team. We made it. Oh, they're at the control room. Okay. So there's Raccoon, Hockney, and, um, not again, <laughs> Elaine, sorry, <laughs> we got there. According to the lighthouse, the control room should be just up ahead. A nice doorway with a fish on the top. Okay, let's head inside. And I think they move forward and then Rack notices something. Oh, giant fish. What are those? <laughs> they seem pretty cool. There's giant fish floating around. Uh, the, there's no, no floor to the room, so it's just a huge kind of building. Inside the cat tower. Look at all those fish. Control room, fish tank. Wait, the fish are controlling things. They all have different like uh, symbols on their back, or shapes, I guess. Circles, triangles, two lines. Okay. Hockneys. Wow. Are we supposed to use the fish to play a game? Don't worry. Colonel, Colonel swap this out. That's what he's here for. All right. I wonder what kind of game. Fishing, maybe? Oh, he can use his fishing pole. Without any, without any enemies around? That seems too easy. Well, I'm pretty sure he said it's a simple game. If you look closely, there's something on their back. Circles, triangles, the shapes. What are we supposed to do now? <laughs> oh wait, Hockney's line is dangling over the edge. Rack could probably use a spear too, maybe. <laughs> Man, there's a rumble from above. Looks like something's breaking. Did someone break in? Oh, uh, something's coming. What is that? Oh, a crab. <laughs> it's, wait, it's way bigger than fish. The fish are already big. Tyrant of the fish tank. How do you say that? Trough. Truck? <laughs> T-R-U-G-H-E. Trug. We're going to go with that. Trug has arrived. Look at him. What a unit. A crab. Is that a crab? That's right. I am a crab. The crab talks, boys. <laughs> Until Yasracha caught me and put me in here, I was the lord of the seas. 
Now I have to play a game with you people to leave this place. Holy crap. A talking crab, Rex. <laughs> what? Can you believe it? You're a talking alligator, Rack. <laughs> oh, yes. That's enough. Now, I'll tell you about the game we're going to play. So we're supposed to play the control room game with you. That's right. If I win, Yastracha promised to release me back into the sea. So I have to beat you to get out of here. Could it be from the same world as Rack? Alright, so what is this? A bunch of panels open up. Okay, the video screens. What's that? Wait. Oh, they can see the fields. So they... <laughs> What a nice shot of Yama that is. It's just red on the floor. Yasrach is standing there over him. And then one's got Bam and Arya. <laughs> They're just sitting down. That's not a good sign. I mean, they have to wait for their next turn anyway. But it looks like Bam's waiting. I wonder what Kuhn's going to say. What is that? Wait. That's the field. And then, yep. You see both of those. Look. Yasracha beat Yama. Orkney's kind of shouted that. I think White is in Bam's field too. This is Elaine. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> this isn't good. They need some help. Mm, that's right. From what I heard, your teammates are out there fighting on the field. You can use the fish in this tank to help your teammates. What? How? Look closely at the bodies. Oh, look closely at the fish. Their bodies feature a random combination of three colors and three symbols. The colors are blue, red, and orange. The symbols are triangles, circles, and squares. I thought that was two lines. Apparently they're connected. Interesting. So yeah, three symbols. Three symbols represent the three types of symbol coins that can be used to buy items. Okay. Symbol coins? Yep, they're coins shaped like circles, squares, and triangles. Makes sense. You can use these coins to purchase items that can be used in the game. This control room sucks. <laughs> but keep in mind that the value of these three symbol types of symbols, coins, changes throughout the game. Of course, never that simple. Take a look at your lighthouse. It shows you your starting points. So is that how much they have already? Yeah, you're given 100 points to begin with. You can exchange these points for coins. Oh no. <laughs> At the moment, each symbol coin is worth 100 points. But the value of each symbol may rise or fall as the game continues. Does it depend on the competitors? I'll tell you about that in a moment. Right. Now look at the item list or item list screen on the lighthouse. This is a list of items that can be purchased with each symbol. You can buy those items with symbols and use them to help your teammates. Oh, look at that. There are items. So what do we see here? something enemy something return is that supposed to be forced return so they can like back up an enemy maybe uh, there's bubble bubble two <laughs> and freeze and then they have their associated costs next to them so freeze i mean i would assume they could freeze the enemy that they're up against so they can just move forward maybe uh that that could be very useful for bam not that i think he's going to use it but if they do use it, it's just going to waste another turn. Uh, now I'll tell you about the most important part. How to change the value of symbols. Red fish increases the value. Blue fish reduce the value. And orange fish let you exchange values. Catch a red fish with a square. The value of square doubles. You catch a blue fish with a square. The value of square is halved. Right now, you can only buy one square with 100 points, but depending on how you use the fish, you could buy squares for half price or double the price. Oh, okay. So, they need to catch a blue fish, then they could buy two squares, kind of thing. Finally, if you catch an orange fish, you can exchange symbol coins with each other. Oh, okay. So, it looks like it's one-to-one. -one. Exchange a square for a triangle. The value of each symbol coin is adjusted based on how many points you have. Never mind. <laughs> if you use this to your advantage, you can drive up the value of symbol coins and then use them to purchase lots of other relatively less valuable symbol coins. Why would you just want to exchange when you can... I mean, I guess if you need a particular type... Okay, we'll kind of keep going through this. These rules apply equally to all symbol coins. 
and you can only catch a fish with a spear. What about Hockney's fishing rod? <laughs> so rack, but if before you manage to catch a fish, and then the crab grows in, looks like he crunches it, about to eat one. Oh, he just took it. If I intercept it, you lose the fish. We're gonna have to get a new one on the board, boys. That one, that one's dead. Of course, I'm gonna try. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Of course, I'm going to be trying to devour as many fish as possible. So the longer you wait, the lower your chances of winning. If I eat all the fish in this tank before the game outside ends, I win and get to return to the sea. Interesting. So if they just catch one fish, he's done anyway. <laughs> Crab doesn't have a very good deal here. And you and your teammates will be trapped in this cat tower forever. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that fish has two lines on it. That's not even a square. You can't tell me that's a square. What is that fish? Is that like a super rare one? Oh. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, if they don't beat the crab, they're trapped in here forever. Dun dun. And look, the value of the circle went up. That must be because the crab just ate a red fish with a circle on its back. Uh, we have to buy some items before the crab ruins everything. True. Yama seems to be in the most trouble at the moment, so let's try and find an item to help him. Good idea. Why bother with the fish? Let's just go after the crab. That is a smart idea. Good on you, Rack. <laughs> Which item should we get first? Did you just throw your spear? Oh no. He did. Uh, straight for the crab. I uh, hope he put enough force into that, Rack. And then you see a boom. The spear did not hit its target. It looks like it's been knocked back. What are you doing, Rack? Oh, so he's caught it again. Huh, can't you tell? If we beat the crab first, we can have our pick of fish. Beat the crab? This place is crawling with rankers. Do you seriously think they would have left a monster that weak in charge of the game? Calm down, Rack. We may have an advantage in this game. Uh, what? I can use my eyes to see a few seconds into the future and find out which way the fish are going to move. The crab doesn't know I can do that yet. If we do this right, we can have the upper hand here. You mean your eyes are actually good for something? Holy crap, Rack. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, they could probably use it a little better if they see which ones the crab's going for. And then maybe intercept those. But, okay. First, I'll try to keep my ability a secret while we catch the first fish. So they isolate one just randomly. Nice red one. We're going to save Yama. I'm surprised Kuhn hasn't said much. He's supposed to be in his lighthouse there. Okay. Oh, Doom's not even on the right uh, platform. It's alright, he will be in 10 minutes, I guess. So, yeah, he's a, he's a stage behind. So we see Yama standing... Uh, Yama on the floor. Yasracha standing over him. Yama, wake up, damn it. Yasracha, you sneaky cat. Doom. You seem to have been preparing something. <laughs> Too bad I beat Yama before you could reach him. I spared your life and told you to never show your face around me again. You should have told that to your brothers too. Why did you have to go and join a place like Fug and dream up some silly revenge scheme? Shut up! I'm gonna make sure you never do anything so foolish again. Why is there some purple light? Is he transforming? He's not on the same plat. Oh wait, Doom's moving forward. Does it matter, not matter? Stop it. When are you going to stop taking away everything that my brothers and I have? Okay, no. He can't get through. There is a barrier. I've had enough of this. And he starts banging it. So, yeah, you see like the ripples. There's he's, Something's physically blocking him from moving on. Rules of the game still in effect. We've come this far, and now you want me to just stop? Partial transformation from Yashracha. You should have stayed out of my face if you didn't want me to take anything from you. <laughs> How could we just leave you alone after you killed our parents? I'm going to avenge my mother and father. Your mother? Or Yama's mother? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Have you still not told Yama? Oh no. <laughs> About why your father had to die? And what a coward he was? 
and the fact that you and him have different mothers? Well, there it is, boys. <laughs> oh, can Yama hear him right now? Oh, yes, he can. What are you talking about? That's from Yama on the floor. Uh oh. Ah, you didn't know. You and your brothers were bred according to the will of the leader of the Lopo Beer family. Not your father's. Yastracha. That's why all three of you have different mothers. And Doom is not looking good. Shut up. We all have the same parents. You and Paul inherited your mother's blood and she wasn't a canine. Yastracha. Which means you aren't a pure blood canine. You're a mutt. Ooh. That's why you can't share the canine power with anyone. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Did you see that, Coon? And then, so here we go. We're inside the lighthouse. Someone's finally talking to Coon. I think I understand the game. You sure are, quick. I sent you a list of items we can buy. As for the situation on the on the field, White is on Bam's field. And I think Yasracha attacked Yama. Yama is not doing well. Kun's, Kun's thoughts. I didn't think White would go after Bam so soon. Why is he so obsessed with Bam? So we looked uh, through the items quickly and I think that Yama could use this enemy forced return one. Force is an enemy that has left jail back in can be used after the battle is forced to end. Okay. Oh, they can afford that too. What a coincidence. One triangle, huh? It's a bit too expensive to buy right now. But if we buy that one, we'll have zero points. But this is urgent. Still, it would be better to try and reduce the value first. Then what about this? And then... Green's <laughs> talking in another language. The first one is possible. But the second one is too risky. So what? You can't gamble without taking risks. Besides, if we pull it off, it would be amazing. Doesn't it sound fun? Uh-oh. You sure love your fun, even at a time like this. The best way to win games is to upset your opponent. <laughs> oh no. The more fun you have, the more likely you are to win. Queen's just tapping away. Let's have some fun. Oh no. Well, after <laughs> after last week, it's going to get a little bit more intense from here, it looks like. We'll quickly read the, comment, uh, the comments. Chapter 500. Congratulations, SIU, for making such hard work. Let's show some love, everyone, by hitting the like and subscribe to support all of his hard work with Tower of God. Already done, so. And Kroon says, let's have some fun. You already know he's about to pull a pro gamer move. <laughs> He already knows the secret. Circles, triangles. They're shapes. Good job. You figured it out. Sir, that's why they're the smart lads. <laughs> All right. Well, within a game that took considerable explanation, Kuhn has found yet another game that took considerable explanation. Of course, I, I shouldn't really be surprised because um, every time Kuhn has come up, like into something like this has been a complicated game. We should have known it was coming again. <laughs> but it looks like they can do a lot of good work if they, you know, manipulate the coins right. We don't have to worry about it as much, like figuring out what they can do because we don't know the full option list and everything. But it doesn't matter because Coon's in there. He's going to strategize and, you know, I think um, I agree with Rack though. <laughs> I, I have to say. Rack has the right idea. If they take out the crab, it's free reign on the fish. And they don't destroy them anymore. So they've got more chances of getting what they need. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with Rack. They should probably find a way to disable the crab. Or take him out if they can. So that they've just got free reign and much more control over the whole economy of fish coin. But, yeah. Uh... The revelation of the uh, canine brothers having different family or different mothers is quite unexpected. We knew they were different somehow because I believe 
we already knew that Doom could, was the only one who could, you know, pass down the canine power. But apart from that, I, I don't think there was anything within the story to kind of indicate that. But, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> That's why Doom can do it and, you know, uh, Paul and Yama cannot. Maybe there's been something in the blogs. I do know that he does keep uh, a great many details stored in those that he can't fit in the story in the blogs as they come out. But yeah, that's that's kind of a bit of a revelation there as well. It's 100% a revelation for Yama. The man had no idea. Now he's on the floor and he's got to put up on that as well. Uh, he's going to be feeling a little bit of betrayal as well. Just like Bam may or may not from last chapter from... Did Kuhn know about, you know, Arkraptor and Prince? This is going to be a rough set of chapters for both Yama and, uh, and Bam. It's not looking good. And if they, if they, <laughs> if they don't know Doom's on the field either, Kuhn and Rack in them, surely they do. But if they put the enemy return one, oh, I guess it returns to the cage. So that means Yama would have one turn of not fighting. I was, I was just thinking, if if it forces him back a space, then he would just go into Doom's flower. <laughs> but yeah, I think I would take that as their return to their cage for one turn. So he'd get 10 minutes of rest to discuss with Doom what's happening, I guess. And then, yeah, they'll figure it out from there. But yeah, pretty good chapter otherwise. Uh, it's It's still starting to kick off. Like, there's teams still in the Cat Tower that we're only just starting to see move. This is the first time we've seen Doom in there. We've come back to Char Huts now and kind of... We don't know where they're going, but they've they've found Jordan and they're making progress as well. I don't think they'll be going out in the field anytime soon. Maybe they can come and meet up with the others in the Control Tower. They're going to need another big hitter there, I reckon. Especially if they do take out the crab, they're going to send someone else bigger to protect it. But yeah, pretty good chapter. Keen for the next one. 100% keen for whenever we get back to Bam though. But we're just waiting for that chapter to come along, honestly. <laughs> Alright, I think that's about it for me for now. So, tomorrow we will have the second last My Hero Academia catch up. Oh yes, so we're almost caught up with the series. I think we will be by the time the weekend comes around we'll be all up to date and then next week next week tomorrow we'll be uh, starting to read up read through catch up through omniscient reader so kind of keen for that one it's been hyped up by a lot of people putting the series suggestion in the discord so yeah pretty keen for that but that is all for me for now thank you very much for watching reading along if watching listening really long if that is what you do my goodness uh and yeah or catches in the next one laters